Hey guys, what's up? So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a Virgin Galactic update. I'm gonna be covering three things in this video. we are be going through an article that was just released on Virgin Galactic. I found this article quite interesting. It talks about some analysts, how they're mostly bullish, but of course there's been a recent analyst who's turned bearish on the company. So I'll be covering that for you guys. And then also I'll be doing a Twitter update. They announced a pretty important event that just took place. And then also today, which is Halloween, marks the anniversary of a very bad event that happened a number of years ago for Virgin Galactic. So we'll be briefly talking about that as well. So this is by Investor Place. Virgin Galactic stock may be selling off again, but that doesn't mean the party's over for the speculative space exploration play. Sure, in the near term, expect shares to remain volatile. The company's making rapid progress, but the payoff is still years away. So yeah, if you haven't been paying attention to Virgin Galactic's share price lately, we've dropped from like $23 a share to $17 a share in a matter of a week. So it's been a really bad week for them, but the broader market has just been selling off as well. It talks about here that analysts at UBS said this emerging industry could produce revenues of $38 billion per year by 2029. Now mind you, that's essentially like eight years away. That's really not far away in the grand scheme of things. And it's not like they're gonna go from zero dollars to 38 billion. This is gonna ramp up progressively and take Virgin Galactic share price with it. So right now Virgin Galactic is trading an extreme discount, but people are impatient. People want to be rich right now. They don't wanna wait five or 10 years for this company to grow into a behemoth. People generally want to see their money double in the next six months to a year. It's just kind of human nature to want to get rich quickly. But if you have the patience, you can really take advantage of companies like Virgin Galactic, in my opinion. So at the bottom of this article, it says, so with the long-term factors still in motion, why are investors getting skittish right now? Chalk it up to the near-term uncertainty rattling the stock market at large. But while that may mean shares tread water or further dip in the coming months, now may be the time to seize the opportunity and enter a position at today's favorable entry price. Now I agree with this. I'm pretty sure most investors were happy to buy Virgin Galactic at $15, at $17, and even at $20, they were probably starting to get that FOMO kicking in. Now it's funny, this is kind of human psychology, but if people see Virgin Galactic stock price rising from $20 to $25 to $30, people are more encouraged to buy in. They're like, oh, the share price has gone up, I gotta jump in. Even though nothing fundamentally is changing in the company. But to the opposite of that, if Virgin Galactic share price is going from $23 to $20 to $15, and nothing fundamentally has changed in the company, people are less incentivized to buy the stock and it scares them away. This is just kind of human psychology, even though the smartest thing to do would be to buy when it's going down and nothing's fundamentally changing with the company. It's a super hard thing to get yourself to do, but it does pay off in the end. So I'm not gonna cover everything in this article. It does talk about how a recent analyst downgraded their rating to $19 a share for Virgin Galactic. I think before it was around 23 they had it at. I already made a video about that and basically I totally disagreed for them downgrading uh, Virgin Galactic. Nothing really has changed in the company. So it was just kind of bearish for no reason. But overall, this article is actually super bullish for Virgin Galactic. Uh, they talk about here that at $18 a share around where it's trading at right now allows you to get into this opportunity at the ground floor. Yes, with its 4.1 billion market capitalization and zero revenue, it seems at first glance much, much of its potential is already reflected in the share price. But once it gets over the initial hurdles and accelerates into a multi-billion business, Today's valuation could look like a steal. Now I agree, I've been saying this for a while, once Virgin Galactic can prove that they're actually a viable business, everybody's gonna be pouring into this stock. Right now, people are just very fearful and not fully believing this is a possible thing. And this is the case with almost every great technology, invention, or investment opportunity. If you think back to the days of the internet, people didn't understand it at all, and a large majority of people didn't believe in it until it started to prove itself and then everybody jumped in after. The same thing could be said about Bitcoin. Now I know Bitcoin hasn't fully proven itself, but for a long time people didn't understand Bitcoin. It kind of scared them away. They thought it was for like criminal activity and stuff, but now Bitcoin is really getting mainstream adoption and people like Goldman Sachs who've always been extremely bearish 
have now just come up with their own coin and you can see the institutional investors starting to pile into the cryptocurrency space. So what I'm trying to say is that this happens with really any really big idea that hasn't been done before. Now to end this article, it does talk about the shorts that are in the stock. So it has a very high short interest with so many betting against it, an ounce of positive news may be enough to feel a short squeeze, sending shares above current price levels. Granted, this alone isn't a reason to buy, but it's a sign today's pullback may not last for long. This is exactly what I said in my last Virgin Galactic video. I basically said that it's completely gambling to short right now, and I think that people are just overall bearish on the stock market. So we're gonna see more shorts than normal. But the reason why it's so risky to short Virgin Galactic because at any moment, they have huge catalysts that are coming down the pipe. And I don't know if a lot of these shorts realize what that kind of news could do for Virgin Galactic share price. So we could easily see a massive turnaround. If any day Virgin Galactic says they're FAA approved, I think we're gonna see a serious short squeeze in my opinion, but I am kind of bearish on the overall market right now. I do think that we're either seeing a correction or even possibly a market crash. So yeah, I am very bearish overall in the market right now. Maybe that'll change in a week or two though. And just to give you guys an idea of how short a Virgin Galactic is, if you haven't seen my last video, the short percentage of the float is 90% right now. So it's heavily shorted. Now, if you don't follow Virgin Galactic on Twitter, that is where they do quite a few of their updates. And just on October 29th, they announced a VMS Eve completed a number of test points today as preparations continue for our next space flight. So I believe that this was the testing that was supposed to take place around October 7th of this month. So when they say that preparations continue for our next space flight, I believe that space flight they're referring to the one that is supposed to take place um, in, the, in the flight window of October 22nd and onward from that point. So the space flight could happen any day now, it could happen in the next month, but uh, they have been saying later this fall, so I believe fall ends December 21st. So really any time between now and December 21st, we could see that huge catalyst that could shoot Virgin Galactic up. And really that's just what a month and a half time frame, and we're being heavily shorted. So it's not too unrealistic to see a massive short squeeze as long as everything goes as planned, of course, though. And then also just to end this video, today does mark the anniversary of 2014, October 31st, where Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 crashes and killing one pilot. So just six years ago, exactly now, Virgin Galactic did have a space flight that crashed. This is something you need to be aware of when you're investing in Virgin Galactic. There is still risk in this company. Now, to my understanding, they have worked out whatever issues there were back in 2014. So as investors, we just gotta kinda put our trust into them and that they know what they're doing. But it's just something to be aware of anyways. Personally, this doesn't concern me. I don't think that there's a high probability of a fatal crash. I honestly just think it's way less than 1%. Otherwise, they really wouldn't be looking at a business here. So anyways, that's my Virgin Galactic update for you guys today. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more Virgin Galactic related content. I'm gonna be doing Virgin Galactic videos every week and covering any kind of news updates. And then also, if you got any value out of this video, please drop a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And this overall helps out with the YouTube algorithm so more people can see this video. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching till the end. I'll see you guys on the next one.